Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kim. As a series of discrete analysis, I want to show you how to calculate the standardized coefficient and structural coefficients in Excel. In R, you can get these coefficients from CanDisk function. So let me show you how to get it step by step. So height uh, standardized coefficient can be calculated by this formula. So unstandardized coefficients times square root of sk minus xk bar square can be calculated by some sq function and column g which is uh, height centered per group okay. and the over and minus g so there are 40 samples and two groups so n minus g means uh, 38 right for weights Some SQ and column H and over 38. All right, so this is same as this one. The only difference is uh, direction. So standardized coefficients can be used to rank the importance of each variables. A high standardized discrete function coefficients might mean that the group differ a lot on that variable. So weights, <clears throat> weight variable is uh, more important to classify, discriminate uh, group, group one and group two. Okay, let's move on to structural coefficients. Structural coefficients means uh, actually, it reveals the correlations between each variables in the model and the discriminant function. So, according to this reference site, we can say that they are factor loadings of the variables on each discriminant function. It allows us to compare correlations and see how closely a variable is related to it, each function. So, generally, any variables with a correlation with 0.3 or more is considered to be important okay so as I explained uh, to you uh, we can uh, get structural coefficient by correlation function correlation from height and discriminant function F score data and for weight and score column I All right so we were able to get a uh, same uh, structure coefficient like R All right let's move on uh, posterior probability in the previous video I showed you how to calculate score and predict again let me show you again so score data can be calculated by row data from height times height uh, coefficients press F4 plus weight times yeah, weight coefficients press F4 minus cutting point press F4 all right so if score is uh, equal or greater than uh, zero then we can classify them as one if not let's classify them as two right so this is how we uh, calculated uh, score and predict uh, in the previous video so uh, in this uh, video I would like to show you how to use post uh, posterior probability to classify them uh, as a uh, well, group uh, first group or second group so this is the formula and in this formula there is distance matrix so I would like to use this formula so this distance uh, has uh, two columns the first one is distance with group 1 and second column L column column L 
is distance with group 2 so let's get uh, d1 first we can use mmult function and x minus xg so there are two x variables here minus and group average of I mean uh, first group average so we can use this one and then we need to fix it right and comma uh, s inverse so m inverse of uh, pulled covariance let's uh, press f4 to fix it right and then we need to multiply this part so m mult comma and transpose x minus uh, x1 average press f4 okay and then minus 2 times log of uh, pi g which is 0.5 right then uh, we need to press ctrl shift enter okay then we can apply this formula for other cells so double click it okay and for uh, d2 which is distance with uh, group 2 uh, same approach so mvert x minus x g x uh, group 2 average so this one press f4 comma and m inverse f of co pulled covariance press f4 okay and then x minus x g bar so m mert comma and transpose x minus x2 bar here okay and minus 2 times log of 0.5 and then control shift enter okay all right so we uh, calculated distance 1 and distance 4 for each observation then finally uh, we need to calculate uh, post posterior probability so we can use uh, this formula so exponential minus 0 0.5 times uh, d1 here and over exponential 0 0.5 times d1 plus uh, exponential minus 0 0.5 times d2 okay right then this one again exponential minus 0 0.5 times D2 over minus 0 0.5 times D1 plus exponential minus 0 0.5 times D2. Right. Yeah. So the sum of two uh, post probability for the first observation uh, must be one. Right. And then uh, we can apply this formula for other cells okay so as you can see uh, uh, we can get posterior probability from uh, LDA uh, function right so 5 uh, 9522 9522 9133 9133 yeah same all right so uh, today I showed you how to coefficients, row, uh, standardized coefficients and structural coefficients and uh, posterior probability. So we can apply this uh, approach to uh, discriminate 
uh, group, multi groups. So in this example, there are two groups, but we can uh, expand this approach for uh, multi groups. I hope it was useful for you to understand how we can uh, get uh, standardized or structural coefficient and also uh, posterior probability. Please click like and subscribe uh, my channel uh, if you want to see more useful video clips. Thank you.